Hello again, Tom from Neversender here uh, to show you how I've made this um, Darth Vader animation in Pixel Mash. Let me just pull up the preview window so you can see the animation, what's happening here. Um, so this is just, you know, uh, Vader turning on his lightsaber and you can see the reflection or the, uh, the glow in his mask. And it's just a little animation here. So let me just show you um, how I made this. It was quite easy with Pixel Mash. Um, what I did was I started with just a, uh, I went on the internet and just found a, this, f uh, photo of a Vader mask. And so when I started with that, um, I went and started adding in layer effects. So just pixelizing that, uh, is the first step. And then I used this restrict color palette layer effect. And then I just went in and, and picked different colors from the photo basically to build up this palette. Um, and then you can see when you turn the tolerance all the way up, it basically reduces that into just uh, four simple colors. I decided four colors was I wanted, what I wanted to go with. Um, and then using mirroring, uh, that turns it into uh, an image that's you know just the same on both sides using this mirroring layer effect. And I could move it around like this and sort of position it until it looked kind of mostly like what I wanted. And so that's how I got my start on it. Um, but then I, I essentially uh, baked that down, and so that's what this baked layer is, and then traced over it to sort of simplify it and uh, just get the you know the pixels exactly as I wanted them. So you can see the original photo was this high-res photo, 1280 by 720, and then I baked that down. I just kept the original in there for reference. Um, but once I baked that down to the, the uh, project pixelized resolution, like I said, then I could go in and um, paint pixel by pixel just to clean up uh, just to sort of make it more regular. You can see I've, I've got this mirroring turned on on here also so that when I did that pixel by pixel editing, it would automatically mirror to the other side. So um, now with the, the animation for this sword and glow stuff, um, so you can see I've got the animation set up um, and as I just arrow through it here, you can see that this sword and glow turns on and then flickers off and then flickers back on. Um, and so you can see that I've got these keyframes set as visibility keyframes. That's what these little dots on here indicate their keyframes. So the first keyframe, the visibility is off. It stays off till keyframe 11. Then it goes on and off and then on again and then stays on through the rest of the animation. So let me just play that animation again. You can see it's sort of like it's flickering on. Now let me show you what's in this this sword and glow layer. So it's the sword, the um, lightsaber, and the glow um, all in the same layer because I wanted them to come on and off at the same time. So anytime the lightsaber is off, I don't want the glow to be there. So um, I've uh, sort of segmented the lightsaber into a few parts. I've got just the straight up white. And as I click and hold on these layers, it will it will just um, highlight them exclusively. So I've got the white, I've got the pink, I've got this red dither. So the red dither, um, that one's got a layer effect that just dithers it automatically. So if I painted more in this, it would just uh, be kind of like that. It could make it go out further. Um, or uh, again, with having this as a layer effect, I can change the um, dithering amount and style and I liked it at I think I had it at 37% yeah 37% gives it sort of more of a, a thin ethereal kind of effect there um, and then uh, just a solid red layer as I toggle this on and off you can see that that sort of provides a transition between the the um, dithered and the solid and then I've got this face glow part. And um, with the face glow, what I've done, um, if I turn off the dither, uh, you can see it's this partially opaque layer. So I've, I just painted it in bright red and then toned it down and added a dither effect. This colorize actually isn't doing anything there. Um, and again, so this dither, just to make it so it feels more like a glow, I've got it at 50%. You could change that to whatever. But I went in and, um, if again, if I turn off the layer, I still sort of painted it so that it was kind of like not solid, so that even with the dither effect, it would sort of 
fade from this full 50% dither it would fade out a little bit softer. Um, and then like I said, the opacity, you can just slide that to where you think it looks good. Um, and then uh, that will just overlay over these and then I've kind of gone and just painted where it looked like, felt like contours would actually be highlighted by the glow from this lightsaber. Um, and then this whole layer has mirroring on it. So I could just do all these things and then uh, mirror it. And so whatever I do in any of these, like if I move the white around to change its size, I'm, I'm basically just sliding it over. Um, but with that live mirroring as a layer effect, that makes it um, much more um, useful. Let me, it turns on a transform keyframe when I move that around, which we don't actually want. So um, that's the basics of it. I think I've covered most everything of how this is made up. Um, any layer effects I didn't discuss with these. Um, so like with the pink right here, I actually colorized it. I painted it as white first because I wasn't sh quite sure what color I wanted it to be. And then just colorize it after the fact um, with this layer effect to get the right shade of pink in there to be a transition from that white and that red. Um, but then again, uh, playing it again, putting it all together, uh, makes quite a nice sort of glow effect and a fun, quick, easy way to make this kind of animation in Pixel Mesh. And um, this is using the latest version of Pixel Mesh. So this that keyframing stuff that I was showing um, that is new to Pixel Mesh as of version 1.1. And so um, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And we look forward to seeing what cool things you can make with Pixel Mesh. Thanks.